Here I am in Leapfrog, I'm going to show you how to set up the Imago link. So right clicking on the drill hole data object in the project tree and selecting the add core photo link button. So the reason why we right click on this guy instead of the drill holes object is because you can only have one photo link set up per project. I'm choosing the Imago link here in the core photo provider window. So you can go ahead and select your imagery types and your image types from these drop down boxes. And you can also choose if you want your um, browser to open a new tab or window. But leaving them empty is actually the best course of option because what that will do is get Leapfrog to look for the drill hole ID with the same ID in Leapfrog as it is in Imago. Once you've set up your integration, you will see in the project tree and on the toolbar we have an Imago icon. So that Imago link can be deleted at any time by right clicking on the object in the project tree and we can amend the settings by double clicking on the project tree to reopen that settings window. Two ways to use the integration now that it's set up. First way, clicking using the select tool on your drill hole trace and then clicking on the Imago link button that shows up in the Wii window. Or for less button clicks, you can click once on the Imago um, icon in the toolbar and then click on your drill hole trace that you want to see your corresponding image for. That will open up your Imago portal on the corresponding drill hole ID or the corresponding depth. One thing to be sure of, you need to be signed in to the Imago portal for this to work. If not, you'll be prompted to go to the sign in page. And you also want to ensure that you have the correct permissions on the account. So you can see I've signed out of Imago here. Now I'm going to try and use my Imago integration. So clicking on my drill hole ID and you can see it's opening up a new tab on my sign in screen. So that's what will happen. That's what you'll be prompted to do if you're not signed in. Now we can scroll around on our um, core imagery or our drill hole images. The other thing you want to ensure is that the account you're signed into, as I said before, has the correct permissions. So I'm just signing in now to a different demo account. Uh, back into Leapfrog to click on the drill hole trace that I want to see the corresponding core tray or core box for. That's open to Margo and you can see I have an error that says no matching imagery was found. And that's because the username that I've signed in with doesn't have permission to access the workspace and data set that the drill hole imagery or that the collection is saved under. So you want to make sure that that's all set up with the correct permissions, otherwise you'll get the error. Um, another reason why you might get this error is because you might be in Leapfrog clicking on a drill hole ID that doesn't exist in the Imago portal. So obviously for the integration to work, you must have drill hole IDs in Leapfrog that match the collection IDs or drill hole IDs in the Imago portal. Uh, and you can also get this error if you have more than one, so two or more collection IDs with the same ID in the Imago portal. Um, and that's because Leapfrog's not going to know which one to point towards. So there you go. That was how to set up the uh, Leapfrog Imago integration and then a couple of other uh, tips and tricks to make sure that it works really well for you.